Yo, what's up, second channel? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I've got for you is a video on the Player of the Month, Rashford. So, looking at this card straight away, first of all, he is he's six foot one. Surprisingly, this guy is literally a year older than me, and it doesn't feel like it at all. Like it's and scary now that I'm getting into the age where footballers can be younger than me. Uh, and I don't like it. Anyway, looking at his in-game stats, first of all, pace, very good. He's got very good pace. Uh, I guarantee this guy's probably rapid on the ball. Uh, very decent agility, decent balance, uh, good reactions, good ball control, very good dribbling. Pretty poor composure, if you ask me. I don't like players under 90 composure, and I know that's probably me being spoiled with the players that I've got to use in this game, but you'll be, you'll notice it. You will notice it. When he gets one on with the keeper, uh, you'll notice his composure. Uh, he didn't shoot quick enough. He'll take an extra touch where you don't want him to. You know, that's what composure usually is. Um, so I think you'll notice the 80 composure, definitely. Um, 86 finishing as well, I think you'll notice that, especially with stuff like low drivings and finesse shots and stuff. Um, I think you'll notice the 86 uh, finishing. Great attacking positioning, very good shot power, decent long shots as well. Uh, volleys are a bit weak, but I mean, volleys got patched a long time ago and they got so nerfed to the point where, you know, only outside of the box volleys are seem to be good in this game, you know? Like, it's very weird. It's very weird. 8-1 penalties is not bad. Um, and defending doesn't really matter. Heading accuracy is decent. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Uh, like I said, he's six foot one. 70 jumping means he's probably not going to win a whole lot of headers. But, you know, he might win a couple headers, especially if he's got the uh, the balance on the other player. Like, if his balance is better and he's in a better position, he'll probably win a header or two against some centre-backs. Uh, especially the shorter ones, maybe like a Sol Campbell, who for some reason is apparently 6-2 on this game. Looks about 5-11 in game. Uh, 89 stamina is great. 80 strength is great. Uh, 79 aggression is a bit weak in my opinion, but, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, but in terms of the actual teams... There is four teams to complete. Now we've got the England team, which is seven England players minimum with three Team of the Week players and 83 rated squad. Uh, so three and four to an 83 rated squad. I'd probably say this will end up costing around 75 to 80,000 coins. Um, can't see it being too expensive. Uh, and in return, you get a 50k pack. That's a pretty good return, to be fair. Um, I think maybe, you know, for the first couple of days, this will cost about 90,000 coins, but I think it will come down. Uh, the Premier League team, uh, you get a rare electric place pack for this. You need five Prem players, four rare players with an 85 rated team. This, it's hard to say how much this will cost because obviously you need the five Prem players uh, and five minimum clubs. Uh, for an 85 rated squad, the cost varies. I'd say this this team will probably cost about 105 to 120,000 coins. First couple of days, it'll cost around 120k, but I think it will drop then to about 105, maybe 100,000 coins, depending on if we get a promo tonight. Um, the Man United squad, you get a 100k pack for this. You need four informs and an 84 rated squad. This will probably cost, I want to say, maybe like 150-ish k. Uh, it might drop down to about 130, but in total, maybe like 150 for the first few days of it. Um, I can't see it dropping too much as well. So maybe like... Uh, like a best average I can give is maybe like 140k uh, and again depends on if we get a promo tonight or not and the player of the month squad which is uh, which is five rare players uh, an 84 rated team plays from the same nation max five uh, you get a rare mega pack for this so in total there's a 250k worth of packs um, in terms of this I can see this one costing about 115 maybe Something like that, 115, 110k, maybe a little bit less. Um, 84, 80 squads are quite expensive at the minute as well. Uh, so if if we don't have any more SBCs, we have like a quiet week. This will tro probably drop down to about 100k, maybe 90k. Uh, but in total, I think the total cost of this SBC, I think we'll be looking uh, if you want to try and pick it up for a good price, maybe like 100, uh, 350k. Um, but I think it'll be around 400k, maybe a little bit upwards of 400k, depending on how steep the market is for the next um the next couple of weeks uh but i think if we get a quiet time it would probably be about 350k uh, and i would personally say if you can do it for 350k do it because you get 250k worth of packs back and the 87 rated uh, card which if you don't think this card has a value of 100k then you're, you're crazy this card is is a decent card you know um i'd say that it's probably definitely worth doing for like a 350 ish k something like that uh it's a very very decent card it is a very decent card um and you know it obviously it's better than his headliner card his headliner card i think at the moment is probably going to crash heavily um how much is it right now his headliner card on footbin right now uh it's actually rising it's actually risen a bit it's rose like 40k for some reason uh, he's about 500k, so that SBC is a better card. It's a lot cheaper, um, and you get packs in return. I think you're probably better off by doing the SBC than going for the headliner card. 
Um, that's my opinion. His inform is dropping quite a bit. I paid 100, uh, 134 like a month ago because I just wanted to use his card. Uh, and he's currently going for about 108. So I'll list him for that and see if I can sell him. Um, but no, I think it's it's probably a decent value for money uh, SBC, to be honest. I, I personally think that if we get a promo tonight and we get some decent upgrade packs, try and craft this card because it is worth it for the uh, pack value alone. You know, you get like a 100k pack, a 50k pack, a 45k rare election pack, 55k rare mega pack, uh, 50k rare players pack, 100k jumbo rare player pack. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, and yeah, I, I, I want to hear what your thoughts on the SBC are. I think that if you're looking to do it over like an Arn Outovic, I'd definitely do Rashford. Um, I just wish that maybe he had a bit more jumping. Uh, I think that his jumping has kind of been let down there with 70. Uh, his composure, I think, probably should be a little bit better. Um, you know, you're probably going to struggle with that composure a little bit. But aside from that, I don't think you're going to struggle too much. Um, but no, it's a decent looking card. And uh, if I were you, I would uh, definitely think long and hard about doing it because it's definitely a good SBC to do. Um, and I think a lot of people will, will benefit from that card. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. I'll definitely be posting more videos like this on the second channel. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. The second channel is basically for videos that I want to talk about FIFA, but don't want to put on the main channel. So make sure you sub to this channel if you want to see more videos like that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.